Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing. We have another interesting week coming up where we will talk about two topics. The first one is the changing macro landscape where we will talk about the trends in fiscal deficit, inflation rates, exchange rates and household savings. The second is RMFs doing the right thing where we will talk about the trends in the mutual fund industry, what mutual fund managers are buying and selling and does your mutual fund work for you. If you are interested in any of our webinars, click on the description below. The Broking Tsunami and its Aftermath A simple circular to the market infrastructure intermediaries which is the stock exchanges and the depositories turned the entire stock broking industry upside down. But this was no ordinary circular. This was a circular that reset the course of the stockbroking industry and importantly kept the investors interest at the center of it. Until recently stock exchanges used to give incentives to stockbrokers based on the derivative volume. So the volume based incentive was given to stockbrokers. So the brokers who made the most volumes got the most incentives. Who were these brokers? These brokers were inevitably the zero brokerages and they were taking these incentives and cross subsidizing investors who are doing delivery based business. So if they had to grow the number of investors in their system doing delivery based business, if they had to service more accounts, then they needed more speculative income, more people to speculate, more people to speculate, more to fuel that growth. And that is how they have actually fueled their growth in the past. Strangely, this did not disturb market players and stakeholders for a very long time to come. The fact that you are creating a very strong culture of speculation and the fact that there were public disclosures made by material persons in these brokerages that most of the investors were losing money. The fact that it was acknowledged at the highest level in our regulatory system still did not change things on the ground. It took some time, but finally it happened. SEBI has said that you should not pay incentives to brokers based on volumes in the derivative segment. What does this mean? It means that everybody will be paid a flat fee structure. So making more volumes will not get you higher incentives. This effectively has put an end to cross subsidization in the delivery segment. But that is only the side story. The real story is it has arrested the incentive to grow the speculative culture at the fastest rate in our history because the speculative culture grew at the fastest rate in our history in the last 36 months. And that is a fact which cannot be disputed by anybody. So now you will see that the capital available in the hands of the brokerages to fuel this speculative culture comes down. The kind of profiteering they did at the expense of their clients trading more. They didn't take the money from the client to be frank. The big money came from the stock exchanges. So that channel has been arrested. Now they will see the clients also sobering down because they would be paying fees on the cash segment side that will be pinching them. And when people realize they are paying more fees, they will generally reduce their activity or that is the expectation. 
I am not so sure if that will happen quickly. But Indians by nature become very self-aware when they get bills. So if there is going to be a bill which is higher than the past bill, if there is going to be a bill where there was no bill in the delivery segment, the combination of these two will make us wonder whether we are gaining from the activity that we do. So when you see the bills, you start thinking that, oh, I am paying so much to these brokers. Am I really making money? If I am not making money, why should I work just for this guy to make money? I think that realization is bound to come in the coming years. It's going to be very slow, but it will happen. Another important measure will help this a lot. I would think that the regulator should make it mandatory for all market infrastructure intermediaries to send an SMS on the first of every month that you paid us so much brokerage last month. That would be a wonderful disclosure because when Indians see the bills, they start thinking. When they don't see the bills, they don't see the experts. Because in stock broking, the broker can also recover it from the account of the client and the clients don't even go through the accounts in such close detail. So I think that sending this message would be the next step to make us more aware of what we are doing, how much we are paying and whether we should actually engage in an activity like speculation. But this is a great beginning. In many ways, it levels the playing field among brokers. It makes all brokers charge for delivery based business. It will definitely make delivery based business more competitive now. Because when everybody charges, then other factors will come into play. What is the quality of service? What is the differentiator? What are you offering in excess to these clients? How are you improving their experience? How is the UI? And you also make people very aware of what they are spending on the other side. Because once you start paying this, you start looking at what you are paying in the derivative segment also. Because to my mind, I have talked to many people who do lot of transactions on zero brokerages, huge volume. I asked them, what's the monthly bill you paid last month? They don't care. They don't care what they pay. They are only in it for the action. But making them pay on the cash segment will pinch. It will make them aware of what they are paying in the cash segment. As a result of that, they would also look into what they are paying in the derivative segment. And I think that behavioral change alone is a big game changer. Because that is how we are made. That is how Indians think. And that is what will make us improve our behavior. So, making people pay directly, making them aware of what they are paying and making them realize the cost and benefit is the simplest way to make investors very self-aware. This cross-subsidization of the delivery segment by the incentives earned from stock exchanges for volumes in the f and segment was keeping people unaware, ignorant and in the dark of who is paying for free delivery trading. Who is paying for free trading in the delivery segment? Nobody thought about it. Now, when you pay, you realize that you are paying for your transactions. Nobody is paying for you to transact more in the f and And then you think of what you are paying in the f and And then you become more self-aware. I think this is great news. But it's a small beginning. There's much to do in investor protection. We all have to play our part, but we should be always positive, pragmatic and hopeful. Thank you for watching this video.